Hey guys and welcome to another book reading video. Today I'm reading Sultra and the Stone Charmer Beast Quest Golden Armor series series two six in each series. Today so I'm gonna finish I'm gonna keep going where we left off. We left off when they freed Farmer Gretlin from the stone and they went to the town of Erinel. After they went to the town of Erinel, they saw nobody there. And they thought the, the creature, the big scary Sultra, the stone charmer, got them. The alien-like creature got them. And they so they saw footsteps. And they were so happy that they followed them. Elena, Silver, Storm, and Tom. They followed those footsteps. And when they followed those footsteps, Tom fell in something and Elena couldn't help. She was trying to find a rope to get him out. But luckily for him, his uncle came there and helped him. His uncle who raised him. And his auntie raised him as well. And then it was daytime. The creature only comes out at night time. And he was taken to the he was taken to his uncle's workshop because his uncle's a blacksmith. And what a blacksmith does is make weapons, steel chairs, shields, armor. That's what a blacksmith does. He moved the ankle. He moved he moved the thing he hits the thing he hits the weapons on where he makes them. What's it called? Comments down below, please. And then there was a hole. They kept on digging. There was a small hole. They digged there, there, and they kept on digging till they found till they found this little treasure box. It's a mini one. And Tom opened it, and he saw this kind of watch kind of thing, and it said danger and safety. It's like a compass for danger and safety. So, and it was a present from his dad. His dad. And then, after his uncle told him the story of his dad giving, telling him about the present, they went there and they, it was getting dark so they had to go back to the forest. Tom and they all had a feast celebrating Tom's return to the village. They all did not like... They all had a feast and they really liked it. And Tom felt at home again. And he was really relaxed. But then he remembered Sultra the Stone Charmer. He went out there at night calling Elena Storm and Silver. He went there and he saw and he didn't see anyone. He had to go to the swamp and he could see something moving and then he kept on getting hit by something spiky. That's the thing that Sultra is holding in this photo. Can you see it? I'm not expecting you to see it, it's pretty hard to see. But it's like a kind of raw kind of whip with vi with sticky things on it. And she kept on hitting him with that. And then he saw her. It was big. And then he got stuck in the mud and she was using her beautiful voice against him. That's how she, she leads them to the with the voice and the looks and all. And then she freezes them into stone. They don't even realize. He got stuck in the mud and his and he looked at his watch he got from his as a present from his dad who disappeared. And it was telling him it was danger. He kept on looking at it. That's how he wins the battle at the end. He kept on looking at it. And then... And then Elena helped him with an arrow. He told him to stay back because Storm won't move and, and Silver won't move either. Because they knew what was going to happen. And they stayed back. And then he called Nanook. Nanook is in series 1. He helps them. He's a big... Mountain giant kind of dude. He's got one eye, and Nanook helped him. 
he had big claws he used against the so when she used her song music or her voice he did her his l loud scream that would clear the fog and nobody could hear her song then and then he hits her with the big claws and then and then sunlight comes he d manages to deflect the sunlight against her face this alien like face he do he deflects it into her face and then she turns into a skeleton and he sees he sees the breastplate that gives him strength each each part of the golden armor gives him something and he gets it and he puts it on and he realizes he got strength and he thanked Nanook and Elena eventually came to help because she heard the loud screams of the dying monster so guys that's it for this book this book summary is over next time I'm gonna get a new book something like the geography of the world or building blocks it's actually just about your body and I'll, I'm gonna summarize that for you so guys this is the end of this video see you all guys next time bye